you know, a cryptographer called Robin Linus uh, developed the idea for BitVM maybe like six or nine months ago. I don't know the exact time. And there was a lot of discussion about this and people were kind of super interested to know, you know, does this allow roll-ups in Bitcoin? And I remember talking to Javier, who's our head of research and innovation, and 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 Sergio, our chief scientist, and 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 there were differing differing opinions around what this meant. And you you know these like new technologies tend to, especially when they disrupt or undermine what you've built, especially when they cannibalize what you've what you've created and what you've been creating for for many years. I think people can initially be resistant to that and think, oh, you know, this is a threat. Um, But through after a series of conversations and some quite intense debates in the team of Rootstock Labs, there was a bit of a breakthrough, I think, just before Christmas. And all I can say is that over the last three months, there's been quite intense work in looking into what BitVM means for Rootstock. Um, We think, I mean, fundamentally, the the, the bridge between Rootstock and Bitcoin is an absolutely, it is, I mean, it is Rootstock. It's absolutely fundamental to what we're trying to build out here. And we believe we've taken the, you know, we've evolved out of a federated bridge into the hardware security module proof of work secured bridge. But we think there might be something entirely new that you can do using BitVM to interface with Bitcoin in a way that's even more decentralized and even entirely permissionless. Uh, and we think BitVM might be an interesting way to do this. Um, but in order to do that, we need to look at some of the amazing work that Robin Linus and the other contributors to BitVM have done and maybe adapt it, improve it, change it, all in the spirit of open source collaboration and obviously publish that with everyone. And so uh, this is what we're looking into at the moment. On the 2nd of May, uh, our chief scientist and some of the people from our research team are going to publish their thinking about this at BTC++ in, in Austin. And obviously we'll make all this public in, you know, in then. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, yeah, I mean, you could, this is arguably the most, this is arguably the most technically interesting thing to happen to, I mean, Bitcoin since Rootstock, I would argue, but certainly since, uh, since Rootstock, since Lightning, this is an entirely novel new way to scale Bitcoin. And um, yeah, we're going all in. We think there's something really, really exciting here, and we think there's a lot of work to do. Um, but we're going all in, and we're putting um, we're putting a lot of resources and quite a big team behind um, behind uh, allowing this to transform Rootstock, and then and then sharing all of that with the wider uh, Bitcoin L2 community as well.